Hey everyone, welcome to the Acrylic Asylum. I'm Mike Ferris, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I mix these different tones of orange and place them where they go to create this glass face, as well as tones of greens for the leaves. So stay tuned to the end to get all the steps involved, and don't forget to check out the description box below for a list of colors and materials. Now getting started, I have my number 20 flat brush here and I just want to take just a tiny bit of water and go over my 8x10 pre-stretched canvas that I'm using and this is going to help the paint flow a lot better as I put the background down. So now on my palette, just some black and some titanium white, that's permanent black. And I just want to mix this up a little bit and make this sort of mid-tone gray and I'll just cover the whole canvas as well as the sides and the borders. Now no cleaning necessary and more titanium white. And on the left here, this will be our light source side. And of course on the right will be our shadow side. So I'm just gonna drag this over, not worried about brush strokes. And with these strokes, I'm gonna use those to create some texture on this background to give more interest. And as the paint runs off the brush over here, I'm just gonna lightly drag that into that darker stuff and sort of fade it in like so. And just kind of do something like this. And of course on the sides as well, I'm gonna take this color over here and this will just cover the borders and bring this picture complete all the way around. Okay, now going into some permanent black and I wanna make this darker color now. And again, on our shadow side on the right, let's do the same thing, just scratch that in and use light pressure as I come into that lighter stuff and just have this sort of natural blend happening. Okay, so that's about it for the background. I'm just gonna take a hair dryer on medium heat to dry it out real quick. And after that, let's take some painter's tape now. And I wanna go about a fifth of the way up the canvas like so, and this just helps create a straight line. And I'll also tape the sides as well because again, I want this picture to be complete all the way around. And so with this now, I'm gonna take some of this very dark, and it's gonna be a little bit darker than the side of the shadow. And this will be for the table that our base sits on. And of course, getting the borders, like I said, as well, where that tape is. And now let's pull the tape off and we'll have this nice straight line. And as you can see, now I've taken some chalk and drawn out the basic outline of this vase. Very simple. So now I've got my 3 8 angle brush here. As you can see, I like this, of course, because I can do precise lines and establish the lines of the vase without going outside of them like so. All those other bristles are out of my way and I can just use the point. So on my palette now, I've got some titanium white, burnt umber, raw umber. This is cad orange, cad yellow, and some phthalo blue. So I'm going to start with some orange here and add just a little bit of raw umber to that. And this just makes a very dark orangey color here. And to that color now I want to add some permanent black now that I've put on my palette. And I want this a little bit darker. And so I'm going to take this now and just start filling in the borders and the edges of the vase and just more or less put in this dark color where it goes to start off with.
see no cleaning yet, I'm gonna take some more of this cat orange. And now I wanna take just a teeny bit of this phthalo blue that really dulls this orange down. And a little bit of burnt umber to that now. And now some titanium white. The burnt umber just makes it a little bit more vibrant because it is a more vibrant brown. And so let's take this color now, a little bit more white to bring it up some more. And let's just block in some areas with the vase and the general places that this is gonna be. Okay, no cleaning yet, and I'm gonna take some burnt umber, I'm sorry, raw umber, and some permanent black to that orange color. And as you can see, the value is darker than that first value we put on. And with this, let's go on the bottom part of this vase here, and this is going to help create the illusion of transparency through this glass colored vase. Okay, now taking some more orange and phthalo blue to that to dull it down and more titanium white, a little bit of burnt umber in there as well. So there's different ways you can vary this tones of orange back as you can see. Sometimes you can put brown in there, other times you can put phthalo blue and you can dull it down that way. So however, and now just a little bit lighter, I want to go in here and sort of make this brighter and I want to stick some of this brighter orange down here as well. Okay, a little bit more titanium white into that same value and let's create sort of our first sort of reflection and brighten some things up just a little bit with that. Okay, and I'll put my angle brush away. I've got my number two flat brush here now. This really helps to get into some detailed areas and I can use the edge of it. So with permanent black and the edge of this, I'm gonna go in here and create some of this black and do some outline stuff here. Okay, with some cat orange now and a little bit of phthalo blue, let's dull that orange down again with that. Some titanium white to bring it up. And now I wanna dull this down and make it very muted. So I wanna take some permanent black into that just a little bit. And a little bit more black actually. So it's kind of a grayish sort of muted orange that's been brought up with some titanium white there. And with this value, let's go on the right side on our shadow area here and let's start this reflective sort of highlight here. And I just kind of want to create this somewhat of a triangular shape here. Okay, up close, something like so, and I'll fill that in a little bit more. Okay, some cat orange, some phthalo blue, and some white to that. Let's take this dull or orange color here and a little bit more white to make it brighter. So with this, let's go on our light side now, and this is gonna be a direct highlight that I will brighten up. And for now, I just wanna get this base color underneath because that's gonna show more realism of the glass color that's reflecting, and the white that will be on top will show this very bright reflection. Okay, and just a little cad yellow now, 
and some white. Let's add that into the mix and let's brighten this up and make it more vibrant. And while that color is on my brush, let's go ahead and put some of that reflection right here and I will adjust these colors, but for now I just want to lay that in here and get these in the right places. Okay, with a clean brush now I'm taking some white, some cad orange, and some cad yellow. And a little bit more yellow in there, just a teeny touch of this burnt umber. You can see I'm wiping most of it off my brush. That's just to dull that down just a little bit. And now more yellow and white in there to make it more vibrant and bring it up. And over here, I'm going to have this reflective, really awesome glow and shine over here. And with the edge of my number two flat, you can see those little lines I'm creating on the edge. That shows a little bit of glass detail in that. And it helps to create more realism in that way. So just going to fill that in with that. And right here as well, let's make this little shape here and give a little bit of a separation between these two reflections. Okay, so let's go back in now, some more orange and yellow and white to that, and more yellow. So more yellow makes it more vibrant and more white of course makes it lighter, so I kind of want to do both. And again, this really brings out this shine and this glow and let's go back in again with that. And with that color left on my brush, let's throw a little bit of highlight down here on the bottom and show some of that light reflection bouncing off right here. Okay, without cleaning now, I'm just gonna grab some more titanium white that's already mixed up with some of that dull orange color over here. And let's go in here and start building up the brightness of this direct highlight here. Okay, more yellow, touch of orange, not much. I want it more yellow, it's kind of like this yellowish orange. And let's go back in and put that color in again. Okay, now I wanna take with my number two flat and a clean brush, some burnt umber, a little bit of white and some yellow to warm that up. And let's take this lighter warm brown color here and on our shadow side, this is going to be some reflective color and it won't be as bright, of course, because it is on our shadow side. And so as the paint runs off the brush, I want to take and just lightly drag that over this yellow stuff down here. And it shows a little bit of transparent reflections on top of reflections and really brings out some depth and more realism and more interest to the eye like that. So without cleaning now, I'm taking some permanent black same brush and with the edge I just want to go up to the top of the vase here on the neck and start to create some of the rim shadows here. Came with that black as well I want to come down here and this is going to be some reflections of the leaves that are going to be up at the top of the base that are going to be reflecting off the glass here so let's come down here and you can do this however I'm just using the corner of the brush and making somewhat of what these plant leaves are going to be like and just going to kind of bring them down like so a little bit and kind of have them fade off into the glass a little bit and take a little bit more black now and sort of darken some of that and I want it darkest towards the top of the vase 
And with that same color, I'll go over here as well and apply some of this darker stuff as well. Okay, so with some of that dull orange color and some white into that, I just want a teeny bit of that color on my brush. I wanna drag it over some of this dark stuff, just a tiny bit. And that shows some transparency of the color reflection that goes across that dark stuff showing through. And that creates more transparency. So I'm just taking some yellow and white now with a clean brush and over here on this reflective light, let's drag that in there and I will go ahead with some orange into there and settle that back and build this up a little bit more. Okay, just wiping that color off my brush and getting just pure cat orange. And I'm gonna go back in now and just here and there sort of scratch that in. And now more titanium white. And I wanna come back over that and just sort of build this up. And I'll also do that over here on this one as well. Okay, so as you can see up close, not all the paint covered up everything. There's a bit of a hole. And in order to fix that problem, I'm gonna take my hair dryer on medium heat and just completely dry that out. Because if I don't, and I try to put more paint down to cover that up, it just won't do it. And you've probably ran into this already before if you've been painting already, and it can be very frustrating. So instead of trying to fight that, just dry it out. And that's all you need to do. Okay, now that we're dry, I'm taking that same yellow orangey color with some more titanium white. And as you can see, I filled it in just fine. So without cleaning, now I'm gonna take some burnt umber and some more white to that. That makes that warm, light brown color. And let's go back to our little triangular reflective light on our shadow side here, and let's put it down another coat. And let's make that show up just a little bit more. Okay, with a clean brush now, I'm gonna take just some titanium white and just a little bit of paint on the brush. And let's go up to the neck of the vase here and let's put some direct highlights here and there. And just with a little bit of paint left on the brush, I want to drag that down and show some direct highlight here. But of course, I don't want it as bright on this side because this is our shadow side. Okay, so up close, as you can see, all the wonderful tones of orange that we've been putting here and there and in their array that they're arranged in, it makes this really nice transparent orange glass base. So now let's get some blue and some orange together, wiping most of that paint off my brush, a little bit of titanium white. And again, just a tiny bit of paint at a time, not much. And let's go in here and fill in some more stuff on the neck. Okay, with just permanent black now, the edge of my number two flat, let's go in here and create some of the rim and just some more details on the base neck. Okay, with a clean brush and just a teeny bit of cat orange, I want to scratch that back in here and make some more vibrance and show some more reflective color going on. Okay, with a clean brush now, let's just pick up some more titanium white and let's go into this direct highlight and start brightening it up. And I also want to adjust it and cover up some of this and bring it down a little bit further. Okay, and you know, you can actually take this however you want. Again, like I said, you can cover up color anytime, push it back if you don't like where it's at with that orange background in the base. So this is really up to you. There's really no right or wrong. I'm just kind of generally putting it where I want it. And you can do anything you want here. Anything that you think that looks good to you or that you'd like to see different. And you can play these back however, anytime you'd like. Okay, now picking up some raw umber and a little bit of cat orange to that. Let's take this darker orange, no titanium white. And I wanna go in there and just here and there hit some of this reflection and just sort of define that and just cover up some stuff here and there. Okay, now just picking up titanium white now and just a little bit of paint on the brush again. And let's go in here and brighten this up.
So with a little bit of paint on my brush, I wanna go in here and just right there, just put a little bit of a reflective highlight like so. Okay, no cleaning yet, and I took some yellow, teeny touch of orange, that's that yellowish orange color. Let's go in and put that back in here and brighten this up. So up close, just taking more titanium white to that same color, and I wanna brighten it up and make more of a vibrant glow to this reflective light here. And this is part of what makes this shine and brings out more realism and interest to the eye and really draws the eye in and puts that wow into this vase. So on both sides here, on both shapes, I just wanna lightly drag that color down and that really shows more glow. So now picking up more cat orange and very, very little paint, I wanna drag that back up and just show more reflective color from the vase going on right here. Okay, and with that color left on my brush, let's take and drag it just on the edge over here on this direct highlight, and let's just show a little bit of that reflective glow going on over here and sort of bouncing off on that side as well. So now just wiping off most of that color, and there's just a teeny bit of it in there, and I wanna take more titanium white, and I wanna solidify this direct highlight. And with less paint on the brush, let's drag that down here because I don't want that as solid or vibrant and it kind of fades off at the bottom there. So now picking up more titanium white and I did clean my brush, I want direct highlights here. And let's just put them here and there and have them zing off the neck. Okay, and again with less paint on my brush, let's go down here and drag some of that light down there. And let's put a little bit more right there as well. Okay, so now grabbing raw umber, some orange, and let's go back in here and let's put a little bit more color on this side and really define this reflective highlight here or actually this direct highlight I should say and just here and there okay now picking up yellow and most of it off my brush just a little bit of white and let's go down here and I want to drag just a little bit of this reflection off of that reflective orange yellow color down here and have it kind of sneak in down here. Okay, just a little bit more titanium white and let's brighten those up just a little bit, but I don't want them fully bright. Just a little bit here and there showing some different light play and some changes there. Okay, more cat orange and now let's go just a touch of burnt umber to that. And let's go up here on the bottleneck here and put some more of that vibrant orange up here. Okay, after some more light color there, now with a clean brush, just pure cat orange. And again, I wanna drag that back up and really bring out this vibrant glow. Okay, now going to my script liner brush now. Lots and lots of water, very important. I'm gonna take permanent black and turn it as I pull it through with all that water, and that comes to a fine tip like so. So with that now, I wanna use just the tip of it, and I wanna start making the stems, and I'm not really worried about how neat they are. I'm just more or less building a path for the leaves and just kind of where I want this plant to be within the vase. Okay, so I went a little bit too far there on the left, so with just some water in my finger, I can just erase it before it dries, so no big deal there. And just gonna continue to drag these out where I'd like to see them. Okay, now I'm grabbing my number eight round brush here, and this is gonna be something I use for the leaves. Very easy to do leaves with this. So I'm gonna take some blue and some yellow here to make this green. And I'm gonna roll it to a point, and just like so, I can just come around on both sides and then come to a point with the tip of it. And it's very easy, just like that, I can make those leaves. And so now I'm gonna take some permanent black and I should have done this at first. I should have put 
black down and then some green on there because that way it has depth and dimension. So I'm just gonna go over the leaves I've already done. And this is what's cool again about acrylics is anytime you want, you can adjust your colors and you can just change anything, anytime, anyhow, and just like that. So I'm gonna start with this dark color actually now, like I should have. And on top of this, we'll put some green and some highlights and this will build dimension and shadows within the leaves. Okay, so now some medium heat now to dry this out so we don't mix this dark stuff into our highlights and our other colors, very important. And now I'm taking my flat brush now, my number two flat, and I'm taking some black and some of that green that I made, and this is to dull that color down. And I don't want them as bright over here, so let's go ahead and put some leaves here and there, and let's separate which leaves are which and leave some of that dark alone and not cover all that up. Okay, more yellow, more black. And let's go in there now, a little bit more white to bring that up. And let's put this lighter value in and decide where these leaves should be. Anywhere you wanna put them, that's where they should be. And again, not covering up all that black because that is our nice shadow and dimension that brings out the realism and the 3D effect to it. And there's a little bit of rain in the background if you can hear that. And that keeps Hawaii very lush and vibrant. So that's a good thing in case you were wondering what that noise was. It rains out of nowhere here, just very hard and very sudden. And it's a good thing because it's very nice because it's usually in the 80s every day and it's kind of nice sometimes to go out in the rain and let it cool you off sometimes. Okay, so just here and there, like I said, let's pick out where some of these leaves live and leave some of that shadow in there. Okay, with a clean brush now, let's take some phthalo blue and some yellow to that. Let's change the value up without the black in there and some titanium white to brighten that up. And so with this different value of green now, I wanna go on our light side here. And this is gonna, of course, be more vibrant on the leaves because this is the light side and the light would be showing up better on these and making them pop just a little bit more. So again, with the method here and there, but not everywhere. And let's leave some shadow alone and throw some of these around. Okay, no clean and necessary now and more cad yellow and white to bring that up and make it more vibrant as well as brighter and let's go back in and again here and there but not everywhere okay and now going back to our darker value now and that's just a little bit of that green color and a little bit of titan i'm sorry permanent black and some titanium white to bring it up a bit and let's get this faded color and let's put this right here and by doing that even though this is on the light side it shows the leaves turned away and more towards us and away from the light and again that helps create more dimension and 3d effect as well Okay, going back to my script liner brush now, I'm gonna get some of that green that's blue and that's yellow, a teeny bit of that permanent black to dull that down. I want this a little bit darker now. Lots of water again on the script liner brush. And so I wanna make the stems now of the leaves 
And so just gonna kind of scratch these in a little bit and show a little bit of indication of some details on some of these. Okay, and now with a clean brush, I'm gonna take some permanent black and raw umber and again with my script liner brush with this dark value. Let's just make some sticks and twigs that are kind of poking out from these leaves a little bit and just shows a little bit more interest. Okay, back to my number two flat brush now. I'm gonna take this light gray color, that's a teeny bit of black and some white. And because this left side is our light side, I wanted to do this on the table as well. And hit the border as well on the other side. And have it wrap all the way around. And let's bring that around. And this will also help to separate our base from the table and make it pop that much more. So along the way I did get the edge of my vase there with that light color, so no problem. I'm going to take some permanent black and this will help to contrast and again pop that out and make the difference there. And I'll just fill that right back in just like so. Okay, now putting more white into that black and let's go down here and drag that light color around just a little bit more. And by doing that it really shows the shadow being cast by the vase here. And so I can use that light color now to more or less build the shadow. As you can see, I'll drag it over a little bit more and just bring it up and around. And going up close here, as you can see, it really helps to create that shadow by using that light and knocking back that dark just a little bit more. Okay, so now let's get some cad orange and just barely any paint on the brush. I just kind of want to scratch that on the table and show some of that color of the vase sort of reflecting as this sort of color reflective shadow play going on. Okay, back to my script liner brush now. I just want to get lots of water and this raw umber. And right here, I'm going to twirl the brush and just sort of make like this stem reflection that's casting over the glass like so. And I'll do that right here. And I'll also go on the right side here where this part is and make that into a stem as well. Okay, a little bit of black here and there up top to redefine some of the neck up top. And now right here, I just wanna enhance the shadow here and just put a little bit more black into that shadow. And now with a clean brush, more titanium white to just reinforce these highlights up here. And just in a few places. Okay, with a little bit white left on my brush, let's just go on, on some of the leaves now. And again, just hit some of these highlights and a little bit more detail here and there. Okay, so with my script liner brush now, lots of water and titanium white, let's sign this piece right here. And I wanna thank you guys so much again for tuning in and joining me. 
If you found this lesson inspirational and fun and all that, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more video lessons I'll be putting out on a weekly basis. And give this one a shot. This is a really good color mixing lesson, and it's a really good way to see all the different methods and options on how to make these different orange tones. And don't be afraid, it's fun, and it will work out. You just put this stuff where it goes and just continue to build up the layers and it will turn out. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. And until next time, happy painting, everyone. Thank you.